fraction exponents. We're going to talk about a uh, rule of revision of what an exponent is, and also we're going to discuss why all of our answers are going to be smaller than the original number we start with. Now, whatever you think about multiplying whole numbers, instead of thinking of times, I want you to think of the word groups of, but today when we're talking about exponents of fractions, I just want you to think of the word of, because what the problem is saying for one half raised to the third power, it's saying, well, what is one half of one half of one half? And if you're thinking about that, it's gonna be, it's gonna make a little bit of sense of why it's smaller. Now we're gonna do this first problem, one half times one half down here. So I'm gonna break apart my this fraction tile into one half vertically. I'm gonna shade in one. And that's like saying I have a half a pan of brownies and I'm gonna go the other way horizontally and I'm gonna take half of that half. So whenever I did this visual for one half times one half, one half of one half, I have one box that has both colors. So I have one box, that's my numerator, and I have one, two, three, four boxes that my pan of brownies is cut into. But I'm not done yet. That's one half of one half. I still have to do this one half. So I had to find the answer, which is one fourth. Now I'm gonna do the problem over here. What is one fourth of one half? I'm gonna break apart my fraction vertically. In two fourths, I'm gonna shade in one of them. And then what the problem is saying, out of one fourth of one half, so I'm gonna take half of the fourth that's left over. And I have one box that has both colors in it. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes in all. So my problem for one fourth of one half, the answer is one eighth. So if I was to do one half times one half times one half, I get the final answer of one over eight, which is smaller than what we start with. So that is why it works. If you just wanna set up a problem like two thirds to the third, you set it up as two thirds times two thirds times two thirds and multiply your numerators and denominator. Two times two is four, four times two is eight, Three times three is nine, nine times three is 27. And I promise you that eight 27 is going to be much smaller than your answer of two thirds. So just think, whenever you see the time sign, think of the word of, and your answers are always gonna be smaller.